hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x and y if we have x to the power of y minus y to the power of x is equals to 17 and we solve this problem for all the values of x but here you remember one thing is that our x and y should must be belongs to integer it means that we solve this problem for integer integral values of x and y uh, and uh, further uh, I hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now we move towards the solution of this problem so the very first thing we are going to do is here first we need to multiply and divide the exponent of this term is 2 and it will be written as uh, x to the power of y and its whole exponent is 2 by 2 minus y to the power of x and its whole exponent is 2 divided by 2 is equals to 17. So here we need to use the nice uh, exponential law you know about that if we have a to the power of m to the power of n so it will be written as a to the power of n to the power of m is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by n according to this rule you see that uh, from these uh, we interchange both of these two exponents and it does not affect our final answer so that here we need to multiply uh, this exponent 1 over 2 inside the term and it will be written as x to the power of y over 2 and its whole square minus this is y to the power of x over 2 and its whole square is equals to 17 and further in the next step uh, here we need more simplifications and it will be written as in this form uh, so uh, here we need to take the base of both of these two terms is equals to some uh, new variable so that we take here a is equals to x to the power of y over 2 and we will take the base of this term is equals to b it is y to the power of x over 2. So when we substitute both of these two values to the above equation so that our above equation is written as uh, this is x to the power of y over 2 whole square it will becomes a square minus when you put it here it will becomes b square and this whole equation is equals to 17 and now here you know about that in the left hand side with a very famous algebraic formula you know about that a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b and this is equals to 17. So here you see that in the left hand side we have two factors that are multiplied by each other but in the right hand side we have only one factor so that we need to find uh, any two positive integer any two integers whose product is 17 so that these integers are 1 multiplied by 17 is equals to 17 and 17 multiplied by 1 is also equals to 17 so here uh, in the next step uh, if you make the relation between these two factors is so here we clearly see that our a minus b is always less than or equals to a plus b so it means that here we need to choose those pair of factors whose uh, in which the first number is less than the second number okay so if you see here the first number is less than second but in this case our first number is greater than second so that we choose first case and we reject it here second case so here uh, now we need to uh, uh, equate both of these two factors with both of these two values and after uh, comparing both of the sides we will get here a minus b is equals to 1 and a plus b is equals to 17 and further in the next step uh, here uh, we need uh, to sum up both of these two values for the uh, sum of both of these two equations for the values of a and when we add both of these two values this is the negative and positive are gone and we get here a plus a becomes 2a is equals to 1 plus 17 becomes here 18 and from here we get the value of uh, a is we move this 2 to the right hand side and we get here our a is equals to 18 over 2 and we get a is equals to 9 okay so this is the value of a which we get here and now here for the values of b 
we put this value of a in any one of the above equations so we put this value on any one of these two equations so here when you put it uh, on this equation it will be written as so here after substituting this value in this equation it will becomes here or this equation is implies that 9 plus b is equals to 17 and here we have b is equals to 17 minus 9 and we get the value of b is equals to 8 okay so 8 uh, and 17 minus 9 becomes here 8 so this is the value of b and now here we need to move backward and we substitute uh, both of these two values of a and b in this equation uh, so when we put it here uh, it will becomes uh, so here you have a equals to 9 and our a is x to the power of y over 2 equals to 9 and in this case b is equals to 8 and value of b is y to the power of x over 2 is equals to 8 and in the next step we need to rewrite this equation as so we have this is x to the power of y over 2 equals to this is 3 square 9 becomes here 3 square in this case we have y to the power of x over 2 is equals to we write this 8 as 2 cubed we know that 2 cubed becomes here 8 so here we need to compare both of the sides and now from here uh, when we compare uh, both of the side base and exponent we will get here x is equals to 3 and y over 2 is equals to 2 so from in this case we get here the value of x is 3 and y is 4 so these are the first two roots of the given equation which we get here and now when we compare these two sides we will get here y is equals to 2 and x over 2 is equals to 3 so from this case we get the value of y is equals to 2 and x is equals to 6 so these are the four values of x and y and now here we need to verify that which of these values are satisfied our given question statement and which of these are not so that for verification of the values uh, we need to copy down given question statement here the given question statement is x to the power of y minus y to the power of x is equals to 17 and here in this side we will be verify x is equals to 3 and y is equals to 4 and in this side we will be verify y is equals to 2 and x is equals to 6 so here uh, when we substitute uh, these two values in this equation it will become here 3 to the power of 4 minus 4 to the power of 3 and here we check that is this equals to 17 or not and here you know about that uh, 3 to the power of 4 is equals to 81 and minus 4 to the power of 3 is equals to 64 and when we subtract 64 minus 81 then uh, you clearly get here 17 is equals to 17 so this shows that these two values are satisfied our given question statement and now here we need to verify these values and when we put these two values here it will be comes to uh, sorry the value of y is uh, the value of x is uh, 6 square minus 2 to the power of 6 and here we check that is this equals to 17 or not so that 6 square becomes 36 minus uh, 2 to the power of 6 is equals to 64 is equals to 17 and a 30 uh, 36 minus 64 is equals to minus 28 is equals to 17 and here you see that these two values are not equal uh, so this means that mm, y equals 2 and x equals 6 is not satisfied our given equation okay so these are, are not uh, satisfied so finally uh, we have uh, the solution set of the given question is that uh, 3 and 4 be the x is equals to 3 and y equals to 4 be the solution set of the given question this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos